after you download the install file from the link in the instructions, double click on it to open it. Once it is open, click on the install media composer option at the top. Go ahead and say okay and allow to all the prompts that pop up. If you see this prompt where it says you need to install Rosetta, go ahead and say install. That just means you're on a newer version of OS that needs it. Again, just follow all the prompts. And click continue and install. Leave everything as default. Don't change any of the settings. After it's installed, you can go ahead and close this window and eject the installer. Now, after installing Media Composer, before opening it, we need to open up Avid Link if it doesn't open already. You may be prompted to restart your computer, which should also prompt Avid Link to open immediately. If not, you can open it now. I find the easiest way to do it is just do a spotlight search and type in Avid Link. And this is the option we want right here. So let's open up Avid Link. And we can click on the icon of the toolbar here now and hit show. You can say yes or no to that. It's up to you. I'm going to say no for right now. When this comes up for system credentials, we're going to say no thanks. And we're just going to come here. We do not need to sign in. We do not need an Avid account for this because we're going to be using licensed server. Go ahead and click on products on the left here. And where Media Composer is, click on the drop down menu and click on license. Once you click on license, on the top here, there are three choices. Click on the third, which is license server. And we will need to click on current license server, which will bring us to this menu here. In here where it says license server options, under primary license server, you're going to type in 148.166.90.71 and save. Now I'm going to go back to products. And under Media Composer, I'm going to do the drop down hit license again. And I'm going to make sure that I check off license server. And you'll see now it says activated activation Media Composer license server floating activated. Now that we've done that, we can now open it either from the Avid link or from Media Composer itself, and it will open up. This will only work if you are physically on campus connected to the Sacred Heart Network or if you VPN in to the Sacred Heart Network. I'll include a link to the VPN instructions from Sacred Heart IT so you can install the VPN software on your computer so you can use Avid Media Composer while off campus. But now that we've connected the license server, we can see that Media Composer is now opening and initializing for the first time. You'll get a prop up, pop, you'll get a prompt again. Just hit okay for any prompts. And once you get here, you're now ready to use Avid Media Composer. If you have any problems, please send me an email.